Somebody who's a former Belmont man, I had to comment to this as well, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thank I used to play the character back in 2019. Thank you for not making yeah. me do it by myself. Yeah, yeah, Ranger yeah, yeah. is the current number nine in New Jersey. Yeah. BD means number 12. And they just both lost to this Belmont. Mm -hmm. And now we also had to cast it, not just because Undead's making the run of the night. If he wants to win this tournament, he's got to make one more run against his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. his own brother. His I, own I, I, brother. I, I, for those of oh, for those of you that are old school weeds in chat, man, this is the the brother matchup. The Hulk, the Kenshiro versus Raul from Fist of North Star, <laughs> the final battle. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, Belmont. Uh, I'm surprised Ram's not going Snake here. I mean, maybe because he just he just wants to test the waters a little bit with Fox. He's got winner's side. You know, he, yeah, could go yeah. this, he could go this whole set, Fox, and if he loses, he's so got just, another He's going to go back to possibly Snake or maybe another character. Yeah, if this was over the time. Probably he also yeah. wants to test, like, this rushdown play style against Belmont, if mm. he would, because if it's Snake, you know, Snake's a big yeah, set yeah. play type character. And, this is and a, so is Belmont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a character. I would say Fox is, like, a smart pick just because it's one of Belmont's Ooh. worst matchups. That's what we're seeing right there. Yeah. You have a uh, really good air mobility and grounded movements to intercept all of Belmont's, um, you know, projectile and disjoint marks. So you're not going to Really, you're gonna have a, he's gonna have a, hot t a tough time uh, trying to set up shop against this character. Absolutely, I mean Fox is literally like the quintessential rushdown type character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're fighting against Belmont, you want to let him play the game as little as possible. And I know that sounds like such a nothing statement because obviously you want to do that against pretty much any opponent you play. Mm -hmm. Belmont, it's very important because this character is neutral. Is there's no other way to put it. It's annoying. It's really it's very annoying. annoying. Yeah. yeah, this character's got like that crazy low, uh, a crazy low lag mid range option in his F tilt. Mm -hmm. Obviously by the ledge, he's got like balls. some of the best ledge trapping in this game. He's yeah. got like that true DDD factor as you see right yeah. there, where there are options. It's not. I said this when I was commentating earlier. It's not always about like picking the right option off the ledge against Belmont. It's how you time it's it. How you time because it, there's yeah. sometimes moments when you're uh, on the ledge against him where just every option is covered. And, and a lot of a lot of why Holy Water F Smash tends to work a lot of the time is because people just don't SDI uh, up, yeah. which your SDI has to be on point in order for you to. Um, you know, mitigate a lot of his confirms off of Holy Water. Yeah. So it's all about like limiting his uh, confirms. Oh, the Tomahawk fourth throw. Nice. That's yeah. Fox Classic. Gonna put him at the ledge. And one thing to note in this matchup is also Belmont's air mobility is not the greatest. He literally moves like a, a rock in space, bro. Like no. he literally, <laughs> it, it's accurate to how his design is from the Castlevania games a little too much for, uh, to, a, to a fault. Oh, so, yeah. You know, Fox uh, could easily abuse that. He can, you know, you can set up for a lot of juggles. Um, you know, frame, a lot of windows for, for frame traps to happen. So it's really, uh, it's gonna be really, uh, it's gonna have a tough time for Belmont to actually find some kind of ground, especially when we're in the air against Fox. Yeah, he's definitely got to keep him in the air as long as possible for sure. And the worst mm -hmm. part about this is like, you got to play a little bit more precise than Fox meets the eye. Fox mm -hmm. is like, you watch Fox and like you're like, okay, he can do this, he can do that. He seems really broken, and he is. Yeah. But people often forget that he is lighter than Pikachu. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people tend to forget that. And against yeah. Belmont, that's, yeah, terrifying that's terrifying off of the ledge. Especially if he just like does like a raw mm -hmm. forward smash off of the holy water. Or, or if he just gets you with an axe when like you're too far axe, away. Or which has crazy amounts of hit lag. Or another crazy uh, ledge trap set setup situation is like a lot of Belmont's like T3 Dom does this a lot where you can literally, to catch ledge hang, you can set up the holy water like right at the ledge where it falls down like a pillar. Mm -hmm. And it catches ledge hang and if it does, you can just do a down downward angle uh, back air fair and it'll a little like it catches ledge hang right so you know you're gonna die super early percents as fox you're gonna die in a percents there's the up smash gonna do it how much insurance as uh, i was gonna say none but he's actually really good di able to survive there how that's much insurance not a cool move ladies and gentlemen always no. remember that <laughs> is, is it really not that's so depressing yeah, yeah. <laughs> granted yeah he's really oppressive in other ways like mm -hmm. so i guess it sort of makes sense but still you know what i mean yeah he's all about controlling the center and, um, you know, uh, controlling the mid-range is kind of what you do as Belmont, yeah. and Let's Trapping is also the name of the game, but this character is like a super trap-heavy character where, you know, as long as you're playing uh, against characters that can't rush you down, you're going to be the one to control center stage 90% of the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. We yeah, have good job on Undead Brain Dead saving his jump right there. A lot of players would have jumped just to try to get off the ledge, and uh, Ram was no prepared to cover that with the F tilt. And against Belmont, that is not something you can really oh, do. No, no, no. You don't want to be like underneath that perfect sweet spot where uh, forward air can snap the ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's like a really annoying spot to be in. Oh, almost oh, getting man. the drag tilt. He's going to get the that grand air up B. It's a little bit of an overextension, yeah. if you ask me. That up B, I don't think it was worth it. Mm -hmm. like, I think way he, too low for uh, Fox. Maybe a grab would have been better because uh, T3 Dom likes to just go for. Uh, dare drag down uh, grab or um, maybe a down tilt 
Yeah, he's been so he's been lobbing that a lot recently, yeah, yeah, yeah. like both showing like uh, showcasing on Twitter a lot of those mm -hmm. dragged out neutral air setups. I'm pretty sure uh, Undead Braid is like aware of those. Surprised more Belmonts weren't doing that earlier. That just moved. That move just kind of looks like the one that would drag down, like a little bit like a Byleth Nair status. Yeah, if you would. I don't you just know, have to yeah. be like super into the opponent's hurtbox for it to, for the drag down to actually work. Because the hitbox itself is very inconsistent. Because yeah. like sometimes if you only get the tipper of the whip, people will fall out of the move 100% oh, yeah. of the time. So it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, you gotta pray it works. <laughs> you just gotta pray yeah. it works. <laughs> yeah, that's game one. Going to a ram right there. Very nice. Yep. And all I can think about is how lemon wings. <laughs> Lemon ranks. <laughs> How does it feel <laughs> to kill your old brother? Your old brother. <laughs> He's devastated. He's like, <laughs> He's like Obi Wan and Anakin. Then He's like, hey, you were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. I I literally <laughs> had to. I had to. I was <laughs> playing HDR, man. I was having fun. I had yeah, to cast this set. I had to. <laughs> Same. No, I, I was debating because I'm like, hmm, do I want to commentate this? Because it is a character I really like. Yeah. And I want to, like, talk about him. <laughs> nah, uh, Undead Brain that out here, man. He he literally making the run of the of the week. With dude. Solo he, he just, he's been beating everybody yeah, tonight. Yeah, bopping it. Doing something I could have not. I couldn't even do that with this character, like, two years ago. <laughs> yeah, three years ago. Yeah, because you're not undead. I'm not or undead. Or brain dead. Or brain dead. You're, al you're alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Smart, I guess. <laughs> and Blake Falcon. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I am a Falcon I mean, most man. people would say Falcon's a smarter choice. And here I mean, we got people is. out here doing it with Belmont. And, you know, undead. But a character who people would say is, like, a pure gimmick character. Which he is, because, like... If you think about it, all he is is, all right, I'm just going to literally keep you out in the mid range and just Dutch Trap. That's it. Outside, anything from that, he, did, he can't really juggle as well. Up air is really, it, it's frame 14. It's not great of a move. You yeah. can't really juggle as much as most characters can. And, like, um, all I, it's he sort of works like Sephiroth does, but worse. Like, where his whole thing is, I'm not going to let you interact with my hurtbox whatsoever. Yeah, he kind of feels like Little Mac with a whip. Yeah, if that makes any sense, because yeah, yeah, yeah. his recovery is terrible. You get him off, and it's like, oh, okay, this is exact. This is this is the gimmick. He's got this really, really, really oppressive ledge trap mm -hmm. that is like impossible to get past if you don't time it perfectly. Mm -hmm. and, and zoning, then you get him off the level, and he dies. Yeah, yeah. And, and aside from that, zoning is amazing. But yeah. when you get him off stage, he can't play the game at all. How do you feel about Belmont on this stage, though, as a former Belmont player? Because Be you just went to battlefield against Fox. So you know what I mean? That's yeah. terrifying. You're I'm, I'm trying to understand the yeah. thought process. You're giving platform extensions to Fox of all characters. Yeah. I think Belmont. I, th I kind of understand why he went here, just because. Um, Please. There are certain characters I would take the battlefield here. I just, Fox is not one of them, and maybe because he wants to get holy water uh, up smash conversions, and a lot of the time you could get a lot of holy water stuff on the on the both platforms and the top one. Yeah. 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 So you, you can do. Uh, so like you can do holy water dare up B off the platforms, holy water up up air up smash, up air up B, you know, so maybe he's looking for those. It's 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 one of those Belmont specific like tidbits that he might it, this could be like why he um picked battle uh, battlefield as a counter pick. Yeah, pretty interesting thought process for mm -hmm. sure. I mean I guess you do have a lot of long range attacks, mm -hmm. so it could potentially keep Fox in disadvantage as well as you can maybe keep him there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time with that up e, which according to you and according to my eyeballs right now is not a kill it's move. It's not a kill move. It just <laughs> so, does damage, but it cannot as long as you're DIing up and away, it's not going to kill till like two hundred. <laughs> And, and, you know, Ram knows his brother, man. He knows yeah, the patience right there. So many lower-level players would have tried to jump out of disadvantage in that situation. Yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. got me in the corner. I want to get out of here. But he just saw the cross from a mile away before. Mm -hmm. He's like, if I can't react to that, like, I don't know how you could be a gamer at this stage of, of the course. game. Yeah, especially when, when uh, you get your training partner is your own brother. Exactly. You're going to know exactly the ins and outs of the matchup 100%. And that's got to be such a, a good feeling, by the way, to, like, be in grand finals of the local with your training with partner. With your training partner, That's got to be, yeah. sudden, be, I, like, I, be I, like, yo, it's working. I would hope that me and Mega end up in the same way someday. <laughs> but uh, it, it has to be a, an amazing feeling for uh, Undead Brain Dead. For sure. Yeah. Uh, that's so what that off the gonna, level. Yeah. He's going to jump high that time around because he's got no reason not to burn that mm -hmm. jump. I mean, Fox's airspeed also... It's Just not ridiculous. the best, but it's not. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Yeah. So you know, I mean, but it depends. You, you really gotta like measure the meniscus when you're off the level because conserving your jump against Belmont is really important. Like right there, he burned it immediately mm -hmm. because he knew he could side B fast enough to the side B fast enough to the platform. Yeah. That's As, not yeah, you're not gonna kill not uh -huh. from that. Not from that. Uh, not from that low. Uh, but other times, if like you're like right below the ledge, uh, right below the platform, but above the ledge. 
that is where you're not going to want to burn your jump because that's where the cross is probably going to be like in the middle of the mm -hmm. just in the middle of the leeway if that makes any sense so. yeah and, and speaking of recoveries like one thing that a lot of belmonts need to be incorporating that dom also i had to mention him again that he uh talked about like really really uh, like a lot is the fact that like when you're recovering as Balma, it's better to go really high and burn your jump if you're super high enough than going low because the arc of where his tether is you a, lo a lot of characters in the game they can just go out there and just press the a button and he's dead so like it's better to just go super high that way you have um a higher angle to just make it back to stage and then even if you get hit sometimes you can just tether back and then reel and just mix it up because uh, the, the tether reel in is kind of tricky to add guard sometimes if you reel it in really quick to the ledge. I'm also noticing yeah. that uh, that Undead is doing a lot of up -bees from center stage onto the top platform. It's sort of like an escape option. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a frame six up -bees, so it makes sense why he would do it. Because um, if, if you're going to... kind of, it's, it's working as sort of like a pseudo anti-air. That's kind of how I used it too. But um, if you get predictable with it, you have to like switch it up between like angled aerials and uh, down tilts sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you can't be predictable with it. Yeah. Although it is definitely looking like it might be Ram's game to lose, but we do have the Fox by the ledge. Mm -hmm. Whipping out one Holy Water in the middle of the trifecta of the projectiles, but unfortunately he didn't react to the fact that the Fox was above him at that stage in the game. And so yeah, yeah. off of reaction, he was just able to get back in the stage, and now you're stuck playing neutral against this wily Fox once again. Mm -hmm. Whipping a grab that time around is Ram right now. Oh, right. The, yo, what Smash Whoa. 4 neutral are we playing right there? <laughs> just holding shield. Yo, he did, there was no that, reason for yeah, him to Tomahawk yeah, yeah. there, but he did it he anyway. He just did it anyway. Yeah, I thought and, uh, the Dude. Raider was doing up either too. Ram could still lose this. Yeah. I'm just oh, saying. Oh! Axe, Axe. Yeah, I knew what the Axe was coming out. That's a, that's a mix-up. What a crazy... A lot of Belmont's like doing that. Dare, Axe. Yeah, but the first option yeah. to Dare in the first place. That was such a ballsy option. There you go. Oh, I cut the jump. Yeah, no back yeah. in the time around. There's, there's really not much Belmont could do when you're at ledge, man. Like, oh, and the trade's gonna go to Fox's favor. Yeah. yeah. Back here too strong. Back here too strong. Oh, boy. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, this is what happens when you're playing your own training partner that also lives with you because he's your Look brother. where we're going. Look where we're going, by the way. What's up? Wait, I, if, I heard, if my ears did not deceive me. Yeah. He said FD Castle. FD Castle. Yeah, so I don't know if we're going to the... I don't know. I hope we're going to the Omega version of Dracula's Castle. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, dude, a I wily I, I, castle. Oh, oh okay. no, never mind. It's I was going to say, I was going to pop up so hard. I, I was, was like, yo, please go Dracula's Castle. That's my he, favorite state, one I, of my favorite scenes in the game. I thought he was doing it like yeah. the Castlevania memes, but then I forgot people, like, unironically use Wily Castle, the Omega variation yeah. of it, as a variation of FD. It, it's they, FD. Don't, they don't like the background, plus the walls as well that you they can tack off for wall jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's looking like not only are we not going to the Belmont stage. It's the battlefield variant. Yeah, it's looking like we're not even going to the Belmont stage or the FD stage but we're not even going to get the Belmont mm -hmm. at all. No more. That's a wolf. So now oh, we got the cannon matchup with the brothers yeah, against but each other. The cannon uh, wolf fox matchup. The yeah. star fox lore. It's been a minute since Toxic. we've seen the yeah. uh, undead brain dead wolf. Mm -hmm. I've never, I think I've only seen him play this character once so I'm not too familiar with it. Alright. Let's take a look at what it's going to get going on over here. I mean, obviously less of a gimm- less- it's a little less gimmicky. Yeah. That, that the Fox has to deal with, like, no, like, ledge games or anything that you have to play around. Doesn't have to mind the obstacle course. It's going to be- it, it, I feel like it's going to be even more neutral play than we had in the last one, for sure. I mean, unless the oppression session from Ram really comes out. But it's always interesting, because, like, Fox- I, Wolf, I feel like, is sort of, like, the opposite of Fox as- far as, like, space animals go, and that they're both species. And what I mean by that is that Fox's attacks are very combo-heavy, and they're quick. Yeah. Whereas Wolf can still combo you, but he his does like just damage, and his buttons are just better a lot mm -hmm. of the times, like Nair and whatnot. But yeah. Fox, when you're like the quintessential platform fighter character, as I like to call Fox, it's like this is the kind of matchup that really sort of tests what's more important in this game: mobility or power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whereas Fox is like, all right, I'm just gonna move around and create whip punishes off of movement alone, and Wolf is all about spacing and just keeping you out with just laser and forcing uh, jump ins. So he's going to get a lot of damage off of a lot of aerial approaches because that's kind of like how he nets a lot of his damage. Yeah, and Wolf also like beats a lot of characters in this game just because a lot of his buttons are just better They're than just, other opponents. Yeah. Like his Nair will just beat you out flat, beat you outright. Most people are not used to like 
It's not a normal character archetype to have the air drift and the mobility of Wolf on mm -hmm. a character with that much kill power. Mm -hmm. So there's not too many characters in the game that can really contest that unless you're really like the characters above him. But one of those characters at this stage in the metagame in the year of our Lords 2023 <laughs> would actually be Fox McCloud. Yeah, yeah, if that yeah, recent yeah. tier list is anything to go by. Mm -hmm. Not that it's a, you know, a general consensus for the whole community. Yeah, but you I, know don't, what I don't mean. think so either. <laughs> what a hard read into nothing. Yeah, I, I was like, wait a minute. There's no way he's going to roll into that. <laughs> I mean, if he did, that would have been wild. That would have been so funny. Oh, yeah. That actually would have hit if he just didn't miss time, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, another amazing thing about Fox on Battlefield, which, again, you took Fox to Battlefield. Yeah, again. Like, it, it's like, why would you take this ca a character that literally thrives off of platform extensions Dude, his to, up a, a, you know, to Battlefield of all, of all stages? Dude, Fox's up smash goes through the, pla it goes through the platforms. Yeah. That's, That's what broken. Saying. It's so broken. That's I, super broken. I mean, not that Wolf does terrible on the stage, but it's like, if I were the Wolf player, I would want to go to a, maybe like a more, uh, something like PS2 maybe. Small Battlefield. Right. You know what I mean? Um, oh, but, what a parry. Yeah, the parry is insane there. He didn't even need to parry that. Yeah, he didn't even need to. He, he could have. just shielded. That was the second hit. He yeah, actually yeah. could have just held shield there and mm -hmm. did it, but Ram's like, I'm, I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, he is number, I think, three on the PR? Let me, four? I have it right here. So it's like, like the beautiful little it, photo. He, he, it's he, number 10, actually. He's like, always number 10. I mean, he, either way, he's like, y'all, he's reminding his over, like, y'all, I'm number 10 on the PR, man. Like, yeah. don't forget that. <laughs> yeah, number three would be crazy. That would mean he'd be Not a, that. That would mean he's above Mega. Mega's like four. Yeah, number four. Yeah, number four currently. Yeah, he yeah, got a crazy yeah. season. And, uh, and, and, and Ram is like, Ram's number two, right? Number three? No, not even, no, Ram's number ten. He's always number ten. Mega's yeah. above him, if anything. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's because of Mega's run at Apex. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mega's run at, and, and his, sure. his run at Encore also. Yes, he got exactly. a lot of wins there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, the, uh, on the Death Ray he yeah. really needs to. He really needs like two good solid neutral wins. This looks and like it might be one. Mm -hmm. Commits with the dash attack. He didn't like. Yeah, he didn't yeah. dash. I thought for sure he was gonna do he's step like, back, try to go for a little tech chase, but he mm -hmm. went full forward right there. And I don't blame him because if that worked and he did get the read, Fox would have gone so far off the level, and that oh, would have yeah. been a pretty, you know, sure. simple edge guard. But at the same time, he lost. He gave up center stage because mm -hmm. of that. And you don't want to do that as Fox because no. you're giving him like a lot more space to just like put you in the corner, and that's like that's a big no-no against his character because his corner pressure go crazy, bro. The minute he has you in the corner, like you, you're stuck in shield, and then he'll just throw you. And you're possibly just dead. Ah, you're definitely just dead there. Man. Yeah. And brother and versus brother. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the day, man. <laughs> the anime cannon. Let me works. Happens. <laughs> How does it feel to kill your own brother? <laughs> he's devastated. Yeah, he's definitely devastated. Yeah. He's devastated. <laughs> the All right. Well, that was fun. That was definitely was fun, man. What? And good stuff to end it right there for the for the insane run with Solo Balma oh, and yeah. Ram. You know, just the tried and true, you know, snake is extraordinaire in tri uh, New Jersey. I mean, his fox is nothing to sleep on. I remember mm -hmm. playing his fox at like a Padrino Fest like a year or two yeah. ago, and it was like, it was cooking then. Oh, then yeah, too. yeah. No, I, I always see his fox a lot, like, funnily enough. And like, he be moving with that character. I'm like, bro, how are you so good with this character? It's like borderline. Like, he plays him very similar to the Japanese fox, Passeri Man. Because mm. it's not like life.